Hello, I'm Jason Kazar, VP of Sales and Service here at PowerTest, and in this month's Tech Tip video, we'll show you how to upgrade your PowerNet 2.0 software to the newest version, 3.0. PowerNet 3.0 improves the overall user experience and adds value for your customers and test cell operators. With 3.0, you'll be able to view your test cell video and control screen remotely via web access, including the ability to allow customer test viewing via the web. You'll also be able to create dynamic reports. You can now easily add photos, logos, and different fonts to reports to fully customize and add real value to your testing results. To make testing easy for your staff, we've added updated 3D graphics with contemporary gauges, a graphical pattern runner display, conditional alarm set points based on different test conditions, easily customized display of parameters being tested with simple drag and place windows, failure mode recording capabilities to assist in product quality improvements, and many more features. Over the next few minutes, Dan will walk you through the easy step-by-step -step instructions to upgrade your software. Once installed, you're ready to go. It's that simple. Take it away, Dan. Hello. Before we get started, there's a couple things I want to cover. Before starting the upgrade process, we recommend shutting down the data acquisition controller or workstation in your test cell. This will disable communication with the commander computer and ensure the upgrade process goes smoothly. Second, we recommend running PowerNet as an administrator. Some operating systems may experience errors unless you run PowerNet as an administrator. To run PowerNet as an administrator, go up to your PowerNet icon, right click on it, and select Run as Administrator. When prompted, select Yes, and PowerNet will open as normal. To start the upgrade process, you need to place the thumb drive you received into one of your Commander Computer's USB port. The pop-up window that opens, you can close just by clicking the X. Now to begin, go up to the File menu and just select Exit. When I click the Exit button, PowerNet's shutdown procedures goes through and looks at the drives for any available update cab. When it finds that drive, it simply walks through the upgrade process. So there's not much I'm going to be able to do, and I'm just going to kind of talk you through it as we go through it here. So I'm going to hit exit here. It's searching all the drives on my computer looking for an upgrade. Now this ensures that it found the upgrade tab. You can see update found. If you click inside this box, you can abort the process. The first step in the process is updating the update program. So that's what it's doing right now, is it's updating that update program for us. And then it's gonna restart the update. So again, because it restarted, we can abort it, if we so choose. At the start of the upgrade process, it's gonna create a backup cap file for us. That's what's going on right now. Next, it's copying all the files that it needs to to update, and we can close this window. And finally, it creates another backup CAD file to complete the process. And there you go, it's as simple as that. PowerNet 3.0 is now installed onto our Commander computer. Once the upgrade completes, we recommend restarting the Commander PC. You can also restart your data acquisition controller or workstation at this time as well. I'm just going to open up PowerNet so you can see what happens the first time you open it up. As you can see, you get this file warning that it's upgrading the main display. It's updating the data space to PowerNet 3.0 standards. All you have to do is save the data space and the next time you open this data space, you won't get that error message. Any older data spaces that you open, you will see that error the first time you open them, but once you save them, that'll go away. Thanks, Dan. As we like to say here at PowerTest, we make your testing easy. And as you saw in the video, it's very easy to move from 2.0 to 3.0. Give us a call or email today, and let's get moving on your 3.0 software update. Thanks, and make it a great day. including the ability to allow viewing for customers via...
So if you'd like to get started today, feel free to give us a call and we can help you out and 